Galactic Showdowns, New Marvel Heroes, and Chipmunks? Here's why 2022 is set to be a buck-wild year for Disney+. Remember when Ice Age was 20th Century Fox's answer to the movies of Pixar and DreamWorks? Well, now that Fox is owned by Disney, the studio's coolest animated franchise is making its way to Disney+. Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild is the next feature film in the Ice Age saga. Following Possum Brothers, Crash and Eddie, as they team up with Buck Wild, a rowdy weasel. The unlikely trio must traverse the Lost World to save themselves from the dinosaurs now roaming the land. Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild will premiere on Disney Plus on January 28th. Sneakerella is a musical modernization of the classic Cinderella fairy tale. Disney infamously remade the story in live action form in 2015. While in 2021, Amazon released a jukebox musical version of the tale starring Camila Cabello. Meanwhile, Sneakerella stars a predominantly black and gender-swapped cast, while shifting the story's time and place to modern-day Queens, New York. The movie finds aspiring shoe designer Zelly falling in love with Kira, the daughter of basketball star and sneaker tycoon Darius King. This mashup of age-old love story and modern sneaker culture will likely appeal to all kinds of viewers, and it's coming to Disney Plus on February 18th. The original Proud Family series ran for two seasons, beginning in 2001 and wrapping up its run in 2005. The capstone on the series was a Disney Channel original, The Proud Family Movie, which served as a finale for the whole series. Much of the original voice cast is returning to The Proud Family louder and prouder, including Kyla Pratt as the lead character Penny Proud. The Proud Family louder and prouder will debut on Disney Plus in February 2022. The sci-fi superhero movie Big Hero 6 sadly never got a sequel, although it was followed up by a 2D animated series spin-off that ran from 2017 until 2021. Now though, Disney Plus has been chosen as the home for the film and show's most popular character, Baymax. Harry baby. Harry baby. Returning to the 3D art style of the movie, the first trailer for Baymax suggests that the inflatable white robot is up to his old hijinks. The only difference here is that it appears that Hero and the rest of the Big Hero 6 crew might not be making an appearance. Whether or not these characters do return, Baymax is set to make his comeback on Disney Plus in the summer of 2022. Cheaper by the Dozen is a franchise that has been going on for much longer than you might think. Take this new remake, for example, which is a second proper reboot of the original 1950 comedy. Any decent Cheaper by the Dozen movie needs to nail down the perfect adult cast to take on those kids, of course, and the latest movie seems to have pulled it off, with Zach Braff and Gabrielle Union starring as the parents. The reboot is being directed by Gail Lerner, who has served as a producer on such TV series as Will & Grace and, more recently, Blackish. Cheaper by the Dozen will stream on Disney Plus in March 2022. Black Rock shooter Dawnfall will be a first for Disney+. Plus. This reboot of the popular anime is streaming exclusively on the service in the US at the same time it will be airing on Japanese TV, starting in April 2022. The series follows the Black Rock shooter, an enigmatic blue-eyed black-haired girl who appears in wildly different worlds and scenarios across the franchise's media. Dawnfall is the latest take on the character and will stream on Disney Plus in an attempt to move the service towards more Asia-Pacific original content. Could it kick off a whole new era in Disney programming? Only time will tell. Featuring two mischievous yet lovable chipmunks, the original Rescue Rangers series aired in 1989 and 1990. The show lived on through reruns on Disney channels in the 2000s, eventually leading to the development of a live-action movie with CGI chipmunks. The Chippendale Rescue Rangers movie has been in the works since 2014, but it looks like it will be well worth the wait. With John Mulaney voicing Chip and Andy Samberg as Dale, the movie certainly has its talent on luck. Famed voice actor Corey Burton is also returning to reprise his role as Zipper, a starry-eyed fly who acts as the third member of the Rangers. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers will be released on Disney Plus in the spring of 2022. Better Nate Than Ever is an upcoming original musical based on the 2013 young adult novel by Tim Federley. The book is an empathetic exploration of the lives of theater kids, including 13-year-old Nate Foster, who escapes his Midwestern life by sneaking off to New York City to audition for a Broadway show. In the novel, that show is E.T. the Musical, a genuinely fun choice that the movie adaptation will hopefully follow. Friend star Lisa Kudrow has also been cast as Nate's long-lost Aunt Heidi. Better Nate Than Ever is set for release on Disney Plus in the spring of 2022. 
Unlike many of Disney's other live-action remakes, the studio's latest so-called reimagining is due to be a Disney Plus exclusive. Streaming at some point in 2022, a live-action remake of Pinocchio is next on the slate. The project is being directed by Robert Zemeckis, who is best known for helming Forrest Gump, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and Back to the Future. This retelling of the classic story comes courtesy of an all-star cast, led by Tom Hanks as Geppetto and Cynthia Erivo as the Blue Fairy. Certain characters will still be animated, including Jiminy Cricket, who will be voiced by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Meanwhile, the haunting of Bly Manor's Benjamin Evan Ainsworth is playing the titular puppet. Pinocchio will stream on Disney Plus in the fall of 2022. A modern classic in the Disney musical canon, Enchanted was well received as a parody of classic princess stories and a pretty great movie in its own right. So the lack of an immediate follow-up came as something of a surprise. Well, Enchanted fans won't have to wait any longer, as a long-awaited sequel, Disenchanted, is on its way to Disney+. Most of the original cast are returning for Disenchanted, including Amy Adams as Giselle, while acclaimed Disney musicians Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz will be providing the compositions and lyrics respectively. Disenchanted arrives on Disney Plus in the fall of 2022. Hocus Pocus is a Halloween classic now beloved by millennial Disney fans, but it wasn't a huge hit during its box office run. In the years since, however, the movie has gained a significant cult following. Of course, this wouldn't be a proper Hocus Pocus sequel without Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy Jimmy, and Bette Midler. These three played the iconic witch sisters that were brought back from the dead to the modern day in the original, and Disney is clearly happy to have them back. It seems like a safe bet that this will be scheduled for release in October 2022, but as of now, only a full 2022 window has been announced. Before the release of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 in 2023, James Gunn is gracing the world with even more Guardians content. Announced for late 2022, the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special will serve as a festive interlude between Thor Love and & Thunder and Guardians Vol. 3. Of course, a Christmas special might bring to mind such glorious flops as the Star Wars Holiday Special. And it probably won't put anyone at ease to hear that Gunn claims he unironically loved that much maligned program as a kid. Still, considering Gunn's track record of spinning straw into gold, it's probably fair to say that the Guardians Holiday Special is in good hands. The Star Wars prequel series Andor is a spin-off of Rogue One, following Diego Luna's rebel pilot Cassian Andor as he finds his calling in the fight against the Empire. Star Wars Andor will be set between Episodes 3 and 4, approximately five years before the events of Rogue One. The series has been touted as a spy thriller. Taking Star Wars into genre territory, it hasn't explored much in the past. Aside from Luna, the show is set to feature Genevieve O'Reilly, with an appearance from Stellan Skarsgård promised for at least one episode. Andor will hit Disney Plus sometime in 2022. In the current Marvel Comics universe, the hugely popular character Kamala Khan is better known as Ms. Marvel. And while some know her as the protagonist of the 2020 Marvel's Avengers video game, she has yet to appear in the MCU. In her live-action debut, Kamala will be played by Iman Vellani, a relatively unknown Pakistani actor. Vellani has also been cast in the 2023 MCU feature film The Marvels, which will pair up Kamala with Carol Danvers and Monica Rambeau, serving as a sequel to both this series and the original Captain Marvel. Ms. Marvel is due out sometime in 2022. Hello there. If you are a Star Wars fan of any sort, you've probably been hearing rumors about an Obi-Wan Kenobi series for a while. Well, it looks like everyone's patience has finally paid off because Obi-Wan Kenobi will be premiering on Disney Plus in 2022. Ewan McGregor is set to reprise his role as a legendary Jedi, joined by Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, as well as Joel Edgerton and Bonnie Peace as Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Not a ton of details are known outside of the principal casting, but we do know that Obi-Wan Kenobi will be set approximately a decade after the events of Revenge of the Sith. Perhaps most excitingly of all, however, is the show's promise to feature a long-awaited rematch between Kenobi and Darth Vader. If you thought the Cars franchise had reached the end of the road, think again. While a potential fourth movie is still up in the air, Pixar's kid-friendly Cars franchise is finally returning with a Disney Plus series in 2022. Cars on the Road takes Lightning McQueen on a brand new trip around the world of Cars. The short description that Disney has offered suggests it's kind of a road trip story starring Lightning and Mater, and one that will easily lend itself to any number of one-off stories and fun side characters. If nothing else, hopefully Cars on the Road can recapture the magic that turned Cars into a major Pixar franchise. 
Zootopia may have been a critical darling, but a sequel failed to materialize after its 2016 box office run. Instead, Disney Plus is taking this anthropomorphic series to a more experimental place with Zootopia Plus, a series of animated shorts set in the world of the movie. The series will revisit familiar characters from the film, as well as establish new ones. The first look Disney shared on Twitter shows the first movie's lead characters, Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, joined by a cast of animals from throughout the Zootopia universe. Unfortunately, Disney has been pretty pokey about nailing down a specific premiere date for Zootopia Plus. At this point, it's only known that it will debut on Disney Plus at some point in 2022. Based on an original idea that director George Lucas dreamed up before Star Wars, the original Willow movie was developed after he took a long break from that particular franchise. Directed by Ron Howard and starring Warwick Davis as Willow, the movie was sadly met with an apathetic response from critics and theatergoers alike. Nevertheless, Willow attracted a sizable cult following over the decades following its release. And now it's back, with some familiar faces attached. Warwick Davis is returning as Willow, and Ron Howard is an executive producer on the project. The pilot is being helmed by In the Heights director John M. Chu and is set for release in 2022. Believe it or not, that's not all you can expect to see on Disney Plus in 2022. You can also expect more MCU stories like Moon Knight, She-Hulk, and Secret Invasion. Meanwhile, Star Wars fans will likely see a third season of The Mandalorian, a second season of The Bad Batch, and more. No matter what you're into, it's an exciting time to be signed up for Disney Plus. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.